In the last several months, there's been an explosion of gang violence in Selma, Alabama. AL.com traveled to Selma to speak to Dallas County District Attorney Michael Jackson about the situation on the ground and to ride along with the anti-gang unit that frequently works in the area. All of these young people running around with guns, uh, assault weapons, and it's just a bad situation for the, the average citizen that just wants to walk around and get some fresh air, having to worry about getting shot. The gang culture has uh, infiltrated the high schools, and well, not just the high schools, I should say, elementary school on up. The small unit, operating mostly under cover of darkness, wearing tactical gear emblazoned with agency badges, is made up of veteran law enforcement officials from local, state, and federal agencies. We're going over to the two major fights that are going on here now. Mm -hmm. So, two major fights, like two. It's just specific beefs or whatever. Yeah, they they beefing over something. And ninety percent of the time, nobody knows what they're beefing over. The group spends several nights each week patrolling known hotspots for gang activity while simultaneously keeping an eye on the streets for anything suspicious. Criminals that maybe have a gun or marijuana or something, you know. You just do Terry stops on them most of the time. They're most of the time, they're most of the time in public areas. Gang violence in the area peaked recently on the heels of celebrations surrounding the 50-year anniversary of Bloody Sunday, a landmark day in civil rights era Alabama when peaceful protesters attempted to cross the now iconic Edmund Pettus Bridge and were met with an angry blockade of state troopers who fired tear gas on the protesters and beat them with nightsticks for their civil disobedience. The whole event was televised on national television, sickening the rest of the country and forcing the passing of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. President Obama, along with many other civil rights leaders, politicians, and national media outlets, attended an event at the site of Bloody Sunday, celebrating the progress made in the last 50 years. Just down the street, though, impoverished neighborhoods were in uproar, firing semi-automatics at their family and friends. At the beginning of June, and at the height of the violence, a music video was uploaded to YouTube, showing members of a local gang, DTE, flashing guns and drugs at the camera threatening enemies and glorifying the life of a Selma gangster. These are not wannabe, these are real gang members. Well, I mean, the they'll kill you, they'll kill you, uh, assault you, uh, very quickly and think nothing of it. The task force has been working the affected neighborhood several times each week, checking cars, keeping track of known troublemakers, and rounding up guns, drugs, and other contraband. The effect has been almost immediate in the neighborhood. But well, since we've launched this uh, crusade against the gangs to run them out of town, we're trying to run them up the road of 22 and 80 so they'll get out of here and head y'all away. Uh, I'm <laughs> joking. But well, we are trying to run them out of town. And since we've launched this crusade to run them out of town, things are getting quieter and quieter. And, uh, there's not a day that goes by that the citizens around here thanking us for tackling this problem. But before it's all over, Sam is going to be known to be a quiet place. Because again, we're going to make sure they hop in their car and ride out of here. Or they're going to be tracked down like blood, huh? <laughs> 